welcome back to the show. We're celebrating our Halloween themed show with our favorite science instructor, Ty. Thank you so much for Hi. coming back. I'm glad to be back. Um, <laughs> last time was great, and I'm um, hoping, you know, to scare you a bit more for Halloween today. Your so luck is scaring me. Thank you. Who are uh, you? What well, you originally I was like, I'm just going to be a jester, but then I thought I'm going to be a science jester. So I'm all crazy, you know, makeup, and, uh, you know, my ribs are showing, so... Uh, <laughs> You need to eat something. I know. <laughs> I love it. I ate some Burger King before I came, so oh, it was pretty you? good. Okay, it was cool. Really, did you yeah. save me some? I did. Yeah, <laughs> surprise. Yay. So we have some really cool science Halloween themed That's things right. to do. What are you going to show us today? So the first one we're going to show you is we're actually going to make some bloody snow, which is really, really cool, right? And I really love how you're making science fun. Oh, we're trying to. We, um, we tried to take science the regular way. You know, you learn in school, you sit down, you read a book. We mm -hmm. tried to get it all hands-on so that... Whatever you do, it's not just reading visual. It's mm -hmm. all it's all hands on. You do it, you see it, you feel it. So and it retains in your mind. That's right. And kids right. love it much more than just sitting down and you know looking at a book all day. For sure. So over here we got some polymer. This is com called instant snow polymer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some right in there. I'm gonna give a quick mix. Where do you find this polymer? Where well, you find it every oh! online, and you see That's it grows cool. and grows <laughs> and expands, and we get our bloody red snow Ooh. and look it keeps coming out see that that is super cool you could put this in the front that's right you can put it for something. halloween look and we more and more look at how much comes out why does it expand like that it's because this is called a polymer and polymers are made of millions of millions of molecules that are attached together but when they get water um, combined with them they expand and expand and expand to a certain point so this one just expands to about 150 times its size but we have polymers like this one over here called ghost crystals, which expand to about 50 times its size. And these guys will look and feel like ghosts because you can't see them in water. Really? So they're really, really cool. Now, another one I have over here for you. This is another polymer. It's called polyox. And we call it monster blood because it can pour just like monster blood. You see, it's so thick, it will pull itself right out of the cup. That is syrupy. It is. And you know what? You can try and pour it as well. It almost looks like it's uh, plastic, like it's attached. Well, it actually is attached. The molecules in there are attached like a chain of beads. And I have an actual cup of beads to show you how it works. Okay. So you can pour yourself. It won't stop. It won't stop. <laughs> it won't stop if you pouring. pour from here, you see, it will pull itself yeah. right out of the cup into the second one. That is super amazing. Super so wild. In, <laughs> if you look under a microscope, yes. the cup, it looks just like this. Yeah. And I'll hold it up like this, and you can pull on that one bead so it falls onto the table. And just let them fall. You chain see? Reaction. A chain reaction. And literally, it is a chain because the polymers, if you look at them under a microscope, look just like a chain, just like this. Do and they if you really? pull, it does. And if you pull on one, you see, they all get pulled out of the cup. So you're saying that that, or like, the, this has little tiny beads that. It's sort of like little tiny it? beads. It's just the molecules are like tiny beads. They're right. attached together with a really strong bond. And because you can pull on one, all will pull on themselves. That's amazing. So you another experiment so I have, and it's actually a really good, I, uh, really good thing that your hair is loose today and not uh -oh. all up. Because what this machine right here <laughs> is called a Van de Graaff generator. And it actually makes your hair stand up. So it's really, You're really gonna cool. You're going to make my hair stand up? It's going to make your hair stand up. You know, like a hair raising experience. A hair raising. <laughs> That's right. It's going to get hairy in here, people. So you see, this is our little. Uh, oh, I hate static. That is so cool. Well, if you don't like static, <laughs> then we don't have to try it. But we do have our machine right here, which will show it for you. You see how all the hair stands up because of the static electricity generated. And it's actually pretty spooky because when you see something really scary on Halloween, your hair just goes <laughs> oh, right. end on end and stands up. So explain the, what's happening here. Like, what, what well, is creating this static electricity? If you look inside here, I, I, really, I don't know if the camera can see it, but yeah. right here, there is a belt that's spinning, and it's a latex belt, and it moves electrons right through it into the globe right here. Right so the globe... I don't want to touch it. <laughs> it's pretty static. You can feel the static, right? The globe... Does that hurt when you do that? A little bit. It's like a little tickle. Ah. <laughs> Try it. Oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm used hurts. to it, you know, I've been doing this for years, so like, the static doesn't hurt me anymore, I'm like That's immune. Totally but what's cool about it is that the electrons, they sit right here inside the globe, yeah. and they won't move until you put your hands on it. And that's why, when you put your hand on it, they try and escape, 
and all your hair just stands up and up and up. And hey, can I tell you, I can still feel the vibration in my fingers. Is a that little normal? bit here. Look, watch this. I'm gonna put my hand and watch. Oh, I'm standing on the floor. If we had a rubber mat, you know, it would be much uh, easier. Oh, why? Explain. Because rubber, rubber, you know, it stops it stops uh, electricity from going to the floor because the earth is the biggest thing we have. Yeah. Electricity wants to go down into it. So if we're standing on a rubber mat, it will stop us. It will insulate us from the floor. Like lightning. Like lightning. Because, you know, if you want your house to be protected from lightning, usually it has insulation underneath it so that it just it doesn't get attacked by lightning. And as well, you have a lightning rod that will draw the lightning out from your house <laughs> right into the ground. So this thing really is loud it, and scary. Oh, it's hitting you. It's, uh, no, it's just scaring the, it's scaring the bejesus. So here, we can put her back up <laughs> and we can see one last time her, her hair going. This is such a hair-raising experience. It is, and for Halloween, I think it's perfect because, you know, every time you see something scary. You oh, look at that. Now, I'm, wow, it's attracted to Well, because you, you're you also conducting electricity, right? So it constantly moves towards your body as well. No. So the, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It likes you. You see, it's like a little puppy. It like constantly comes to you. It does. Do you have one more thing? I to show? do have okay. one more, and this one is actually oh, very, very cute. Hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, so you can turn that off. <laughs> so we have one last experiment over here, okay. and it's actually a piece of goldenrod paper, and I think you've seen that one last week. Okay. And because goldenrod paper tells you the difference between an acid and a base, mm -hmm. it will turn into a different color when you write on it. So. Oh, I know what I'm gonna write today. Here you go. And you can write something, and then we can show everybody. So first, let's show that the paper is completely yellow. There's nothing on it. Okay. And then I think uh, if you want to write something really spooky on there. I'm going to put. <laughs> Help. And then, you know, my response is. No. <laughs> And why does this happen? It's because right over here we have baking soda and water, and okay. that creates a basic solution. And that's the opposite of an acid. So this piece of paper, it tells you the difference between an acid and a base by turning into a different color. So an acid will not do anything to this paper. It will keep it yellow. But a base will actually turn this paper a nice deep red. And the more time passes, the more it seeps into the paper, the redder it will get. Or the more the concentration is. So if I put a lot more baking soda into here, it will turn red and red and faster and faster, like your dress. It will become really, really red. Amazing. Thank you so much. Where can no we problem. get uh, information? It's well, you can actually go on our website. It's CameliaCenter.com. And okay. if you like the experiments that we did today, we also do birthday parties. So hey, if you want a birthday fun. party that's science-based, you can come onto our website, come to our center, Perfect. or, you know, we can come to you. Thank you, Ty. All as right, always, no problem. really informative, really fun. We have more coming up. Home decor. And it's going to be dark and gothic. All Halloween. Yeah, so don't go we'll be right back after this.